the start of this one. It's game four of the National League Division Series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Washington Nationals. Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special postseason coverage of baseball on the show. With me are Eric Carroll and Steve Lyons. And Steve, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of game four. Remember now, this is only a five-game series, so this is an elimination game. And I think that any time a team sees it was on the line, well, they've got to play with a sense of urgency. So I think that's exactly what we're going to see here. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who get the ball here in this one. from the guys as this one goes along. But first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Pittsburgh Pirates. As manager Clint Hurdle has his squad lined up like this. They'll match up against an imposing presence indeed. The number one overall pick in 2009, hard-throwing right-hander Steven Strasburg. Take a look at how the Nats will align themselves defensively. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Starting lineup for Washington looks like this. Jeff Locke is on the mound here to face these guys. He's got the usual assortment of pitches, but keep an eye on him in the early going here. If these guys can get to him early, he does have a tendency to start overthrowing. And from there, that's when the problems usually arise. And a look now at how the Pirates line up on D behind him. The first out of the inning. Jason Worry digs in at the plate. By him here, one and two now. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. On oh, and no shot there for Alvarez. It's past him, a fair ball. Yeah, a one out base runner here in the bottom of the first. Now you got three. there, one and two. Good change up right there, down in the strike zone. Definitely. Oh, meanwhile, my goodness, that ball caught him pretty good out there on the mound. To Walker for one. Scott Hairston will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. Second inning upcoming from our nation's capital with no score. 
Bryce Harper is into the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over in right. And with two gone, let's take a look at our playoff bracket. And with this, of course, being a potential elimination game, will we punch a ticket tonight for that coveted spot in the NLCS? Second base with a leadoff double. Ian Desmond will get a chance here, and you see the numbers for the series. He just has not gotten going yet. And this is swung on and missed. But he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. And the throw first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. He played two full. Changeup swung on and missed for the first down. And this is why, as a hitter, working the count in your favor is so important. I mean, here, this is probably a ball, but you can't risk taking this pitch on one and two and hope that you can get the benefit of the umpire's call. You pretty much have to swing at it, even though you probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it. The a laser that time, but it'll wind up with nothing to show for it. Two away now. Now a ball lined toward right center. Dives and he makes the catch. How about that for an exclamation point to the end of the inning? Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Back with more of game four on the show after this. Jesus Montero will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. That is a base hit for Montero. Yeah, just a nice... Russell Martin will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Here's the first offering. Swinging a liner back through the box. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Harper will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. First pitch coming. Hits softly to the right side. And he's safe. Ryan Zimmerman will go back now. He popped out in foul. I'm not trying to hit him. Sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he's trying to do. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Here you go to show motion. We give you a side angle shot to see how high this pitch is. Looks like it passes the plate right in one. Line hard into left. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Jesus Montero will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunity so far. Maybe this would be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose them in load the bases. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. Wilson Ramos will stand in now, and suddenly the bases are loaded here with two. And this is a spot where the Nats have had their share of trouble. They have to have some recovery. And 
you have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Make it six shutout innings as he continues to give them fits out there. Game four heads to the seventh inning now, and we still have no score. On pitch to record the first out of the seventh. So one away in the inning now for the center fielder, Andrew McCutcheon. And this is a swing and a miss on a ball in the dirt as they'll need to throw down to first. And he sails it over his head. That ball's down the line, and this is trouble. Well, don't know quite what happened on this one. Here it is again. I mean, this just hits him right on the heel of the glove. Kevin Franzen to step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. This guy has been frozen by that pitch tonight. He's had a lot of guys shaking their heads. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying the deep right. There to take it is Tabata, and that's the first out of the inning. So two gone here in the Pittsburgh eight, and that'll bring in the all-star catcher, Russell Martin. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. That's what the two-seam fastball would do for you. Running away, not just the strikeout, such a good at bat right here. When you can grind out seven, eight pitches against a guy that's running short on gas, that can be huge. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Zimmerman rounds the bag. He's headed for third. And he is out at third base, trying to move up as a possible go-ahead run, and the inning is over. Nationals gone in order, and this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Ross Detweiler will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. Nate McLeod is into the game as a defensive replacement now as he takes over in right. Mark Melanson come on needing to get three outs here to try to send this game to extra innings. A gorgeous play. Wilson Ramos will step in. A great and a swing and a miss is all he could do is reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. Still no score. Andrew McCutcheon will lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. Ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location, and he is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. It's a solo shot off the bat of Andrew McCutcheon. His second home run of the series, and the Pirates are staked to a 1-0 lead. This is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing. And sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. The shift works to a T, and they get the 6-3 put out. Ike Davis, they get with one in and one away. Gets this fastball and takes it high in the air to deep straightaway center. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone. A home run. It's Ike Davis here with the solo home run. His second home run of the series, and that'll give the Pirates a 2 to nothing lead. 
Boy, this would have been one heck of a play out there in center field. You can see him tracking this ball. He's got it in his sights all the way. And he's not going to miss this by much. He nearly brought it back into the yard. Neil Walker will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. as he powers this one high in the air out to deep left field. And this is into the bleachers in left, a home run. A solo home run here for Neil Walker, his first homer here in the series. And the lead for the Pirates is now three to nothing. As a pitcher, and especially as a relief pitcher, you got to have a short memory out there. And here, he gets burned again on back-to-back -back home runs. Not really what you want to do when you're coming out of the pen. Tyler Clipper will come in and pitch now. Jason Grilly will get the call here an inning later than usual as he'll try to save this one in the 10th. This is a situation where home run here isn't going to tie the game. The one and one pitch. And now he drops one down here and they'll try to beat it out. And you know the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he'll reach it first. Will be summoned off the bench here, so pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. It's one and two now. Hey, he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. And this is swung on and missed, so not a productive at bat off the bench, and there are two away now. One thing we can say about this game. Neither team's been afraid to swing the bat. I mean, here we are this late to the ball game, and we still haven't seen our first ball. In Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. And the Pirates are for real. They've advanced to the NL Championship Series. Celebration going on down there on the field, but they know that they have a lot of work left to do, and they'll start thinking about it all over again here in a couple of days when they play in the NLCS. The offensive star of the night for the Bucks, well, it was this guy right here, Neil Walker. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, and I think we probably could have given this award to three or four different people, but you definitely can't overlook his contribution. He really played a great ball. Carol, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasker. This has been the NL Division Series on MLB The